The Galaxy A71 5G brings an excellent amount of upgrades over its predecessor. This device is a pleasure to hold and use. The display is a 6.7 inch AMOLED panel. The display is beautiful as well. All the AMOLED awesomeness is present such as vivid colors with the option to switch to a more natural look, deep blacks, wide viewing angles and excellent brightness levels. Thanks to the Infinity O screen, the bezels have been reduced and the punch hole for the front camera looks better than the U-shaped camera cutout we saw on the Galaxy A70's display. The A71 5G is sleek and light, there's plastic on the back, but the phone feels premium while not being slippery as a phone with a glass back. The in-display optical fingerprint sensor has been improved as well. It's much quicker and more accurate than last year, even more so than theoretically superior ultrasonic in-display sensor on Samsung's flagships. Naturally, facial recognition is supported and it works well most of the time. It is powered by Exynos 980 chipset coupled with 6 or 8 GB of RAM depending on the variant you buy. Performance in day-to-day -day use is excellent, there's barely any stutter or lag, and all of the graphically intensive gaming titles run well. This phone have quad rear camera setup. The Galaxy A71 5G 64 megapixel primary camera takes 16 megapixel photos using pixel binning. And when the lighting is right, you get really beautiful pictures. There's a lot of detail in daylight shots and good dynamic range. Color reproduction is also faithful to real life in most cases. Nighttime shots come out noisy or grainy. Although the dedicated night mode tends to focus on increasing the detail in dark objects rather than controlling noise levels. The 12 megapixel ultra wide camera takes better photos than the A70 was capable of, at least in terms of the detail captured. The A71 also has a 5 megapixel macro camera, which is a great addition to this setup, and the last one is 5 megapixel depth sensor. You can record 4K video at 30 FPS and 1080p super slow mo video at 960 FPS. On the front, there is a single 32 megapixel camera for selfies, which delivers great picture quality. It is powered by a 4500 mAh battery with 25W fast charging support. It has impressive battery life and can get you up to 2 days on a single charge with light uses on Wi-Fi and a little mobile data, and a full day if you are a heavy user who tends to play games, watch YouTube videos and do other power intensive things on their phone. If you travel a lot, the A71 has excellent endurance even when used as a hotspot. The Galaxy A52 5G is designed to have a solid build without the bells and whistles you will find on flagship smartphones. It doesn't feel as premium as Samsung's top-end phones, but it feels durable enough in the hand. It has a 6.5-inch display. The display has a full HD plus resolution and max brightness is 800 nits. If you are looking for a smartphone to watch video, this is a great display for you. There is a punch hole at the center of the top edge and the bezels around the screen are thicker than some may like. It still looks great when you are watching a video. There is a big improvement on the display section. It's a 120Hz display, which is a feature usually reserved for flagship phones. It will give you a smoother experience when scrolling through social media or playing mobile games. There's also an in-screen fingerprint scanner, which works very smoothly. The handset is also IP67 dust and water resistant. You will also find the 3.5mm headphone port. The Galaxy A52 5G is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 750 processor, which is an octa-core chipset clocked at 2.2 GHz with an embedded Adreno 619 GPU for graphics processing duties. It's also 5G ready. This is a powerful mid-range chipset and capable of doing some heavy lifting. You can play most of the games without any issues. As for the day-to-day -day use, the experience is snappy and you will have no trouble executing the work. The camera spec is also impressive, it's quad rear camera setup. The main camera here is a 64 megapixel lens with optical image stabilization. There's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 5 megapixel depth scanner and a 5 megapixel macro camera as well. On the front is a 32 megapixel selfie camera inside that punch hole in the top center of the screen. Quality wise you will have no complaints about the cameras, images look pretty good for the most part. Pictures are filled with detail, it does a good job at cutting through the darkness in low light conditions, and HDR works without a hitch. Video shooting is pretty good as well, the portrait mode delivers some top quality end result with good edge detection. It comes with 6GB or 8GB of RAM depending on how much you are willing to spend. For storage you will have 128GB or 256GB on the phone, and then there's a microSD support up to 1TB.
It comes with 4500 mAh battery with 25W fast charge support. It will easily last a day from a single charge. The Samsung Galaxy A72 comes in four color options including awesome, black, blue, violet and white. It's impressive that Samsung is taking a step ahead and playing with new color schemes unlike some of the competition brands who are still stuck with boring black and blue phones. As far as the design is concerned, the Galaxy A72 looks funky and unique when compared to other smartphones available at this price segment. This phone offers plastic matte finish on the rear panel which looks cool. The under display fingerprint sensor makes an appearance on the Galaxy A72 and that is to be expected. The headphone jack is also present on the device. A notable improvement we see this year is the IP67 water and dust rating. This feature is an important addition even to the mid-range phone segment. Samsung doesn't compromise on the build quality. The phone feels sturdy in the hands and offers a good hand feel and grip. The weight is properly balanced, however it can be slightly difficult to use the phone with one hand because of the big form factor. The front design is also minimal and looks classy with a center place punch hole camera and slim bezels on all sides. The Samsung phone is powered by a 2.2GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G 8nm chipset paired with up to 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. It runs smoothly at all times, you will experience a total lag-free device. The phone runs on One UI 3.1 based on Android 11 and comes with several pre-installed third-party applications. Overall, the UI offers a very clean experience, which is great. You can play almost every game on mid to higher graphics with decent FPS. One of the best things about the Samsung Galaxy A72 is the screen. It features a 6.7-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED Infinity O display with 90Hz refresh rate. The screen looks vibrant and shows punchy colors. It features a quad camera setup just like its predecessor with a main sensor of 64 megapixel, but this time with optical image stabilization. There are total four cameras on the rear panel. The main camera here is a 64 megapixel wide lens. It also have a 8 megapixel telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom. There's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 5 megapixel macro lens. Pictures taken with the Samsung Galaxy A72 looks great. Photos from bright daylight show a decent amount of details but colors look washed out sometimes. Low light photos are good considering it's a mid-range smartphone. You can record 4K video at 30fps. Overall the selfies look good. You can also record 4K video with the selfie camera. The Samsung Galaxy A72 comes with a 5000mAh battery paired with up to 25W of super fast charging support. Samsung claims the battery life will last two days. There's a new follow-up to the Samsung Galaxy A52 on the market, and this new mid-ranger is Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G. The design is the same as the regular A52. At the top, there is the SIM card and microSD card slot. On the bottom, you will find the USB-C port, the headphone jack, and the stereo speakers. On the right are the Bixby button and the volume rocker. If you are not a fan of Bixby, you can configure the button to open any app or work as a power button. In terms of durability, the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G has a IP67 water and dust resistance rating. That is still a 6.5 inch 1080 by 2400 Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. It's a gorgeous display with vivid colors and deep blacks. Viewing angles are excellent and it's bright enough to use in direct sunlight. This new phone is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G chipset and there is 6GB or 8GB of RAM on board. You also get 128 or 256GB of internal storage which can be expanded via a memory card. The performance here is very good, day-to-day -day use or gaming experience is great. With this processor, the phone feels very snappy. It's a 5G phone so it's got you covered for the future. The camera spec is also impressive, it's a quad rear camera setup. The main camera here is a 64 megapixel lens with optical image stabilization. There's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 5 megapixel depth scanner, and a 5 megapixel macro camera as well. On the front, there is a 32 megapixel selfie camera inside that punch hole in the top center of the screen. Quality wise, you will have no complaints about the cameras. Images look pretty good for the most part. Pictures are filled with fine details. 
It does a good job at cutting through the darkness in low light conditions and HDR works without a hitch. The portrait mode delivers some top quality end results with good edge detection. Video shooting is pretty good as well. It can record 4K video at 30fps. The Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G comes with a 4500 mAh battery capacity with 25W fast charging support. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition is a more affordable version of the flagship phone S20 and its motto is for the fans, which means it prioritizes cameras and display quality at a more favorable price than the rest of the Galaxy S20 line. There is a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate for a smooth scrolling and great viewing experience. For this price, the S20 Fan Edition packs most of the best perks of the flagship S20 line, a Snapdragon 865 chipset or Exynos 990 for the 4G version, 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. With this processor and RAM, you can expect to have great fluidity when using any apps or games. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition features a triple rear camera setup just like the Galaxy S20 but with different lenses. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition features a 12MP main camera, a 12MP ultra-wide camera and a 8MP telephoto lens with a 3x optical zoom. The space zoom goes up to 30x. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S20 packs a 12MP main shooter, a 12MP ultra-wide lens and a sharper 64MP telephoto lens that crops into achieve a 3x optical zoom. Its space zoom also goes up to 30x. You can record 4K video at 60fps. Up front, the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition has a higher res selfie camera at 32MP compared to the 10MP for the Galaxy S20. This makes sense because Samsung is targeting a younger audience with the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. Both the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition and Galaxy S20 share the same top camera features such as night mode, super steady and single take. The phone has a 4500mAh battery maxing out at 25W wired fast charging and 15W wireless charging.